Well, the patch hose are back. This is part two. I hope you enjoyed our top 20 patchouli fragrances video from a few weeks ago, which was our second anniversary of the previous top 20 patchouli fragrances video. But Dah Dahlia has her own favorites, and I'm ranking her favorites. So if you want to find out Dahlia's favorite patchouli fragrances ranked by me, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. It's winter and we are Pachos. And what better way to warm up your cold, I don't know, it's not really that cold here, actually, but like other other people are cold. What better way to <laughs> what better way to warm yourself up than with a delightful patchouli? And I happen to have quite a bit of patchouli in my collection. She's a true patch hoe. That's not why we're friends, but it did bring us together. The patchouli draws drew us together. <laughs> yes, it's a it's a it's a. It's a patchouli story. It is. Um, so what are we doing today? So we're, I'm ranking her favorite patchouli fragrances, and um, I guess we can get started. I guess we can. Yeah. These are 10 patchoulis from my collection, and they're in order um, of what my he preference. likes best. So my preference. turnabout is fair play. I'm just going to sit here, and it's going to be fun. And the ranking here is sort of like the one that Dahlia did. The true patchoulis are at the top. The least patchoulis are at the bottom. Um, I'm not ra ranking these uh, in a way where I hate them and I don't like them and I like them kind of way. Uh, I'm just, I like a lot of these. In fact, I like all of them. I just have to rank them uh, the way I think the patchouli is as much or as little. So we're starting with number 10. And even though it's known for patchouli, but it's known more for rose and uh, uh, incense and uh, spices and a little bit of a raspberry note, it is Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mall. And that's why it's ranked at number 10 because even though it is, like I said, a patchouli fragrance, there's so much going on here. The rose is the main player here with this fragrance. You know about it. It's, it's a great, really, really masculine fragrance that's been copied a lot too. Um, rose, you got the fruity touch from the raspberry, spicy touch from the incense, and no, I'm sorry, spicy touch from the cinnamon and cloves, the smoky touch from the incense, and of course that beautiful patchouli that we love. It's a delightful fragrance. But it's not all about patchouli. It's not like an in-your-face patchouli. That's and why actually, it's at number it's, 10. It's not, it's not masculine. This, I would say, is 100% unisex. Um, at no point have I ever felt like I was um, androgynous wearing this. It's the most womanly, elegant um, patchouli rose on me. So, But yeah. it is definitely a rose that any, any guy could wear comfortably. When you say womanly... Womanly like lipstick womanly like i got dressed today womanly like i didn't um so if a man wore this what would it be manly um you're womanly yeah i don't <laughs> i don't i don't know really because i i don't know if i've ever met up with you when you're wearing it but i know you wear it and you wear it well it's a very dressed coiffed manicured kind of fragrance uh, it's elegant and i would have to think that a guy wearing this would maybe have like a little uh, what do you call it? Pocket square thing and like, you know, got a haircut this week, you know, like it's all groomed clean and um, You know if if he's got stubble, it's like the appropriate length like that kind of mm -hmm. I get it. It's yeah. very dressy Dressy, but like you don't have to go to like a ball You know, it's elegant. It's so elegant portrait of a lady at number 10 at number 10 Sad, but it's not all about it's patchouli. It's not my ranking. <laughs> I love this fragrance, don't get me wrong. Don't get him wrong. Don't get me wrong. So at number nine, I think they, Dahlia ranked this one. I don't know where you ranked it in the original video, but uh, it's Histoires de Parfums Patchouli Noir. Um, I'm going to say it again. Noir patchouli. Or is it Noir Patchouli? It is Noir Patchouli. Sorry. Patchouli I'm, Noir, Noir I'll Patchouli. i never forgive you. Don't, Not ever. Please forgive me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to say the same thing. This is, for me, reminds me of Marquis de Sade from the same house with a little more patchouli and a little less leather. For me, it's so close to that Marquis de Sade. I don't know why. And I feel like 
even though it does have more of a prominent patchouli note, it just is more about the leather with the patchouli. And there's that kind of like, I think it's like an artemisia or like a absinthe kind of a note in here. It gives it a li licorice-y vibe. So it's not like in your face patchouli. Like the closer we get up to the top, you're gonna see that the fragrances are more all about patchouli. And this one, I feel like it's a lot more going on. They're sharing it. the spotlight, the, the leather, the patchouli, and maybe that, um, absinthe quality are all like they Fighting all want to be the star um i i see that on me it wears very much patchouli um but that's like an evening fragrance that is that is way too much for the daytime really mm -hmm. on on me that it's big right S proceed with caution mm. maybe just spray once interesting anyway noir patchouli from the house of histoires de parfums at number nine at number eight hindu grass from the house of nasomato so I have a bottle of this and the rumor was it was discontinued, but recently we were at a perfume shop together and they said it's not discontinued. So I can't find where I stored mine at the house, so I have to go <laughs> dig it up. But uh, on sniffing here, mm -hmm. I feel like I don't love it as much. <gasps> but it's more patchouli, but it's a combo of vetiver and patchouli. Mm -hmm. Or maybe my nose is fried. I don't know what's wrong, but I just didn't love it as much as I did when I first smelled it and I ended up buying a bottle of it because- Two years ago when I brought this over, it was like, oh my God. I think we've we've both been sort of in acquisition mode on the patchouli front over the last two years and it's just been bumped. It's not that it's bad, it's just, I mean, it's actually wonderful. But if you guys know if this is still discontinued or not discontinued, let us know because the rumor is yes and the rumor is no. We don't know. This is another one where it's like one spray. Really? It's beast mode? One. One spray. Um, I, I think the vetiver in here is kind of like almost to the point of like sour or something. Mm. Uh, maybe a little on the moldy side as well. So it's clashing with the patchouli. And I love that combo, like incident diplomatique, vetiver and patchouli. Love it. Mm -hmm. Here, I don't know. It's on me. This is a very earthy of the dirt kind of not marshlands actually because there's nothing outdoorsy about this. But what you're talking about that moldy kind of dampness. Um, the, it's like a wet vetiver, and I'm making this sound really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross, exactly. But it's wet not. Vetiver. It's not. It's on. It, it works really well with my skin chemistry. So. All right. But it's. Um, it is not. It. It is one spray. But the reason it's up higher than the other two is because I felt like it was a little more patchouli than the other two. Anyway, Hindu grass from Nasomato at number eight. Number seven, it's the house of uh, Ideo Perfumers and it's Prism Blues. And we spoke about this in the first video, uh, the patchouli video. Now this one to me is more patchouli, but it's nicely balanced out with cardamom and the oud is in here. There's a little bit of citruses in here. And this is the one, um, the cardamom is also in here. It's pretty prominent. There's lots of cardamom. And this is kind of the one that reminds me a little bit of uh, Oud Wood from Tom Ford with lots of patchouli thrown in and a, a little bit of um, amped up uh, cardamom because Tom Ford's uh, Oud Wood has a lot of cardamom and that's kind of like in that same ballpark. But the patchouli is more amped up and I love that about it. It's also very classy and masculine. I just love it. It's very, very sophisticated to me. It is very masculine. On me, this wears as more of an incense, which is interesting. Yeah, you keep saying that about this one. Yeah, my skin like maybe just eats the patchouli because we love patchouli so much, but it's what, when I wear this, it wears more as an incense, um, maybe supported by the patchouli. So it's interesting because you wear, you we both have it. So maybe when you wear it, it's, um, more patchouli forward. Yeah, I wonder if there's a, a resin of some kind in here that kind of has an incense kind of quality. Mm -hmm. But either way, it's great fragrance. It's about patchouli for me, but definitely balanced with the cardamom. Adio Perfumers Prism Blues is at number seven. At number six, it's Patchouli 1969 from the house of Maitre Parfumé at Gantier. I have the smaller bottle. And this is... <sighs> To me, this one kind of hints at a little bit of Histoire de Parfums. Yeah. Uh, but a lot more patchouli. It's not as uh, faint in, uh, as it is in that one. It's a different kind of patchouli, but kind of like in that same ballpark. There's a greenness about it. Um, it's very, very sexy. I don't think it's intense and, and as uh, dark and uh, earthy as other patchoulis. It's a bright. There's a brightness about it, so you can get away with wearing it in warmer weather. I just love it. In, in where the uh, Noir Patchouli has the leather, this has um, a musk. A, a it's definitely musky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. 
I love it. It's, you said it's a little animalic on you, right? Yes. Uh, this is another one where my, uh, the patchouli kind of just is, uh, uh, floats away and the musk is what I smell. But I wonder actually what other people smell. Maybe I'm just so used to smelling patchouli that I don't even, like I'm an anosmic on some level. Mm. And maybe other people smell patchouli. You got burnt out on patchouli. No, How dare you? not even. No. I love it. I want to smell it. Um, there are others on this list where when I wear them, I smell the patchouli. Mm. All right. Patchouli 1969 from the house of Maitre Parfumé de Gantier. That's at number six. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel like the next five are the real patchoulis on the list. So this next one is a house that you told me about. I did. I was in Lucky Scent Scent Bar, uh, Los Angeles, back in June at the DTLA, and I discovered them there, and I smelled them. And they had like three different fragrances all around patchouli, very similar to each other. So the brand is Lori Rodkin. She's from Chicago. Like Lori me. Rodkin. Mm -hmm. And she um, she's a jewelry designer to the stars. I mean, I think like super famous clients and stuff like that. So um, she's kind of got a rock and roll vibe. And this is a vanilla patchouli. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's a dark patchouli. It's sweetened up by the vanilla. There's earthiness to it. There's a little bit of a chocolatey undertone as well. And I really like it. And I feel like this this collection right now, the five that we're going to talk about, are the real patchoulis in the in the list. Uh, they're all about patchouli, even though there's vanilla here. I think the patchouli still stands out more. And it's gothic two. Oh, it's gothic. Well, that's the line is gothic one, gothic two, gothic three. I think all three of them are patchoulis with varying, um, like the where the patchouli is mm. in the in the not prominence, I guess. Um, and gothic two spoke to me. So this is gothic two. Let me just confirm that. I, yes, it is. All right, so Laurie Rodkin, a Gothic 2, yes. at number 5. So at number 4, going to the house of Towerville, and this is Patch Flash. Oh. This is so good. It's so good. This, this was on the bougie. original list. This was... Two years ago. Two years ago it was on the list. And it's still um, a favorite. This it's, is, it's a great it's a great fragrance. I just don't own it anymore. This is one where you I ate it all up. Smell yourself wearing it, and it's like you just want to smell your own arm, and it's this... Um, great price point. It's I mean, actually, it's a small bottle, so maybe ML. if you do the math, it's not such a great price point. I'm not sure, but um, it's it's money. It's a money patchouli. It's like an like an expensive um, brandy or some. Yeah, there's brown, a there's a there's brown, a rum note or a whiskey note in here. But it's with a brown the, liquor. It's a brown liquor, and I think and with the patchouli and it like wears forever. It's like. If you didn't shower, you'd still... Smell it the next day? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Not that I've tasted I really, that out. I really like it. This one does not go chocolatey. Well, maybe it does a little bit, but I don't think it does. This is kind of going in the direction of the histoires of parfums a little bit with a, a slight touch of chocolatiness and lots of booziness. But the patchouli is earthy and effervescent, which I like about it. It's not like deep, rich, but it, it is uh, got great longevity. So I do mm. enjoy it. And Patch very flash. unisex. It's very unisex. I wear it. You wear it. You wear it. I wear it. Everybody should wear it, really. Yep. It's, I think what we said in the first video, and I didn't... We go, did a review of this one. Well, I don't remember that. We did a full review. I think what we said is that if somebody was... That this is a safe blind buy, and if you wanted to start your patchouli love affair, this is a good place to start. Definitely. It's, it, it's a fine it's blind an, buy. It's an inexpensive one, although per mil it's not, but still it's under $100 for a 30 ml. They're very compact, portable bottles. Mm -hmm. Great way to start a patchouli obsession. Patch Flash from Towerville, number four. Number three, to the House of Parfums and Nikolai, and it's uh, Patchouli Intense. So this one I put here because it is real patchouli, but it's a different kind of patchouli compared to everything else at the top five. This is ultra green patchouli. And earlier I was saying to Dahlia, it smells like bell peppers. The greenness goes very bell peppery, but there's lots of lavender here. There's lots of geranium. Um, and I think it's very aromatic in experience, but really intense. It's really, really rich. Uh, in fact, they have a, a more luxurious version of this one. I want the patchouli sublime it's, really it's bad. It's to die for but it's so pricey, so it's pricey. Ridiculous. But this one I think does the trick. It's, it's such a great scent. It's like, it, it's like you're entering into a green patchouli forest where there's lots of green vegetation and green vegetables all blending into one. And uh, 
I love it's that the backyard I wish I had. Like, really? Yeah, I mean, like, where you want to sit and have lovely aromatics around you, and it's, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Great house. If you don't know Parfums and Nikolai, definitely check them out. I do have several reviews, and I have a full review of this one on the channel. We did a full bottle giveaway. I wonder who won, but... Um, for Somebody those of you them. also who, like me, are attracted to the smaller bottles these days because your collections are getting out of hand, they do a great thing where you can buy a smaller bottle or this larger size. Yeah, a lot of my fragrances from this house are 30 mLs. This one happens to be a large 100 mL. Because it's amazing. It's amazing. Anyway, patchouli intense from the I have, house of... I have the smaller one. You have the small one? I do. Yeah. This is his bottle. This is mine. Um, this is Patchouli Intense from the House of Parfums and Nikolai at number three. So at number two, it's Reminiscence Patchouli from Reminiscence Paris. This is the Patchouli of Patchouli fragrances. It you is, own this one, but you own the other bottle. I have an older bottle with the stars. Um, this is maybe not the quintessential Patchouli, but it's a classic. It is in many ways the of the cakey chocolatey gourmandy patchoulis this is the reference i think definitely the one to look at this i think has been around since the 70s and it, there's a reason why it's around i love this one it's earthy it is chocolatey the cakey like we were saying it's just a, a great patchouli experience love wearing it even though it's patchouli it's like invigorating it's sparkling it's effervescent there's something cozy about it and i think it's because of that chocolatiness i just love it it makes me feel comfortable and i love wearing it reminiscence patchouli from reminiscence paris and one more thing to say it's not part of the jewelry company anymore it's uh independent of that company they separated so hopefully the fragrances will stay smelling great. I have nothing to add. Uh, that completely is everything I, I, I have to say about that. He said it though. It is targeted to women. Uh, it shouldn't be though. It's very unisex to me. They do have a patchouli pour homme, which is not as patchouli as this, but uh, I think this is the winner of the whole collection of patchoulis from this house. Anyway, that's at number two. What's at number one, Sebastian? So this is a, a fragrance that Miss Dahlia has been talking about forever. Oh. She does that. She'll talk about Forever. the same thing. Forever. And I said, can you at least bring the freaking fragrance before you, when you, you, you know, brag about something? So she finally brought it, and I'm like, oh my god, there's a reason why she brags about it, because it's so freaking good. It's really good. This is called, what is it called? It's French. It's just called, it's French? No, it's called Le Nerides. This is Le Nerides, and what's the name? It's just patchouli? It's called patchouli antique, but there's many versions of this. Really? Not, I don't think they're reformulations, but there's lots of different labels on different wow. over the decades. Um, as I far love as this. I really it's, love it's it. It's beautiful. So this is, I, the one that I have is called Patchouli Antique is the point. Patchouli Antique by Lena Reeds. It's a jewelry company. This one's still owned by the, by the jewelry company. It's not separate. As far as I know. It is re so selling at Lucky Scent for about $100. For This is 100 ml. I think we said $95, but yeah. And you got this from Europe, uh, from eBay, for like $25, which 25 euro. I'm so jealous. Yeah. I wish I got it for that price, but I think the $100 Guys, is... Guys, look for it, because there are people like in Italy or something selling this brand. I have three of them um, at great price points. What are the other ones you have? Um, maybe we'll do like a profile. I have uh, Oriental Lumpar and a Papanax, and then this one. I love a Papanax. They're all really good, and they layer beautifully. This is great. I'm glad I discovered this and it's definitely deserving of the number one spot. It was tough to pick this one over Reminiscence, but I think this one definitely deserves it. I'm going to definitely check out this line. This is also a boozy, chocolatey, earthy patchouli. The patchouli is effervescent, sparkly. The chocolatey touches are cozy and warm and, you know, comforting. It's it so good. Take takes elements from a lot of the other patchoulis on here. Like I had to kind of think twice about buying this because I thought, you know what, you really have Did you this. blind buy this? No, I had smelled it um, at Lucky Scent actually and I loved it and I thought, stop it. How many patchoulis do you need? It, I thought it was really similar to the Reminiscence patchouli and then I got it and having, having had the opportunity to wear through my collection in my own home, it has kind of the boozy quality from Patch Flash mixed with the warm, cozy quality of the Reminiscence mixed with... Um, I think there's a little bit of the Histoire de Parfums in here as well. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a leathery undertone. It, it's just got a little bit more badass to it. Can I say that badass, on your channel? Badassery? Badassery. Yeah, then, you can say it. You know, the Reminiscence is so snuggly and warm and cozy and there's a time and a place, but this, this is... It's a good one. 
It's really I'm going to get a bottle. So this is Lena Reed's Patchouli Antique. Yeah, and uh, number apologies one. to the people of France, as we often say, for what we do to your language. We, we don't mean to, but you have accents on things, and we're just not always sure <laughs> what, what you're trying to tell us to Good do. stuff, guys. Thank you so much for bringing it. I'm glad. I do want to check out the other two fragrances I'll you have. I'll bring them by, yeah. Yeah, but this is Lena Reed's Patchouli Antique number one. That's the list ranking from Dahlia's collection of patchouli fragrances. I hope you like this. I hope you like this. Come back and see us again. We'll have more videos on the channel. If you have any questions or comments about any of these fragrances or for us, please put a comment down so we can find out and get a conversation started. Other than that, guys, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.